Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it wouldn't be a day that ended in Y if there wasn't some rainbow nonsense going on at a Novus Ordo parish, sadly. A Catholic church in the Archdiocese of New York has put on basically a pro-trans exhibit, which not only is promoting an ideology that is definitely against the biblical truth of how human beings were created, but it also contains other explicit heresies in the message that was presented. We're going to get to that in just a second, but first, a word from our sponsor, which is the TKR Store. Go to thekennedyreport.com and visit the TKR Store to see our new products, Kennedy's Choice Beard Oil. You can use this on your beard to help with alleviating itchiness, dryness, and irritation of skin. And don't worry, no animals were used in testing this product except for myself. Use Kennedy's Choice Beard Balm for a softer, healthier, manageable beard that is made with natural ingredients. And trust me, I know a thing or two about beards. Visit thekennedyreport.com and check out the TKR store. The links for this are in the description. Also, many of you were emailing our store and asking where was the frankincense oil? And it's back. We've got some more in stock there. You can see the TKR frankincense oil. You can find that in the store. Um, we just got a new shipment in from Oman, which is actually rumored to be the region where the oil brought to Christ was from, as that same location has been used for over 2,000 to 2,500 years. So could be, and it was used by kings and noblemen back in the day. So who knows? But check out the links in the description for that. Okay. This article first appeared, as far as I saw it, at Fox News. Yeah, Fox News is lame. They got rid of Tucker Carlson. And that's dumb. But nonetheless, this article has the information we need. And um, I'll bring it up here. And it says, The Archdiocese is investigating Catholic Church's God is Trans exhibit. You can't put this out on the altar. So the outnumbered panel... Oh, sorry. This is a different thing. The New York Archdiocese is currently investigating a Catholic church in Manhattan, which had an art exhibit declaring God is transgender. Fox News Digital confirmed on Tuesday. And I realize I should just make that a little bit bigger for everybody to see there. There you go. Um, we only learned about this exhibit through the media. We had no knowledge of it beforehand. We are investigating and are speaking with the pastor of the parish to get more information, they said in an interview statement to Fox News. Now, I would imagine some of the Nova Sordo splainers, I guess. I, I know this is an indictment on the entire Nova Sordo, but the people trying to explain away the bad dealings of this pa pastor will probably try to explain it off as miscommunication or something like that. But here's the thing. The pastor of this parish should be removed. He should not be a Catholic priest. In fact, he's an abomination in the eyes of God for what he's done. And we're going to see exactly why as we continue here. The exhibit, which has since been taken down, was entitled God is Trans, which is just insane. I mean, it feels blasphemous even saying it. Uh, quote, or colon, a queer spiritual journey, and was displayed next to the altar at the Church of St. Paul the Apostle in Manhattan on Sunday, according to the New York Post. Three paintings depicting the queer spiritual journey as sacrifice, identity, and communion. One parishioner told the Post that the church had gone too far in pursuing its liberal agenda. Um, too far is an understatement. You, there's no too far. There's just at all. You don't pursue a liberal agenda in a church at all. There's no too far. There's just at all. No liberal agenda in a church, please. The church should not be promoting this. The unnamed person told the outlet, I understand there are transgender people. I pray for all people, but enough is enough. It seems like they're trying to force the agenda on others. Gee, you think the person claimed that priests would not answer questions about the display. Yeah, I can see that. You can't put this out on the altar and then hide. That's what gets the church in trouble. So apparently this was in on an altar. I didn't know that actually. I, I hadn't, I forgot that part. So if this is on an altar, I was just at the consecration dedica dedication of the Immaculata Church in St. Mary's, Kansas, where they did consecrate a new altar. Would it be necessary to re-consecrate this altar? I don't know. Wouldn't hurt in my opinion, but anyway. Uh, parishioners spoke out against, this is just a, a thing on the photo. Um, in the artwork's accompanying text, artist Ada Unachukwu, 
I think I said that right, connected gender identity to religion. The painting Sacrifice, it's called, and its complementary act in the film speak to the need to shed an old life and personhood in order to be able to focus on your spiritual need. There is no devil, just past selves. Identity is the most impactful part of the exhibition. What does holiness look like? What does your God look like? Are these two portrayals that can be merged, the exhibit said? Whoa, goodness. So there's a lot to get through there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's just break that down. Uh, the need to shed an old life and personhood in order to be able to focus on your spiritual need. That right there is, I mean, I can see how it's partly true in the, you know, the old man dies and the new man lives and Jesus Christ kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's a, that's sort of in the same ballpark as that sort of sentiment. But shedding yourself of your personhood, that's just Gnosticism. This is just as full on Gnosticism. Whichever priests there were that okayed this, I mean, I don't even think they're Catholic at this point. Um, there is the devil, just past selves. We should ask ourselves, this is a Jesuit church, sadly. Um, there is no devil, just past selves. So this is... Obviously heresy, the devil is a de fide truth, and you can't deny the existence of the devil because that would basically make you a non-Catholic. The liberal church declares in its mission statement that it welcomes everyone and holds programs for young adults, LGBTQ Catholics, artists, returning Catholics, and seekers. There's a lot of, there are a lot of layers of badness here. Um... But uh, unfortunately, this is something that we've come to expect, and I don't think it's a surprise that this happened just in anticipation of so-called Pride Month. So be expecting a lot more of this stuff. And, you know, it's amazing. The bishop is investigating. Is the bishop going to remove this priest, these priests from ministry? You know? Also, you know, it's frustrating when this term welcoming or inclusive is used, and they'll say, well, this is a church where all are welcome. Listen, that's a redundant statement. Every single person that is part of the human race is welcome to join the Catholic church. And that's always been the case. They say when you drive past Novus Ordo parishes and they have signs that say like all are welcome. It's like all have always been welcome. They didn't have to say in the past, all are welcome in order for people to come in. They would just have to preach the gospel and people would come to the church to hear more. Now we have it where they're telling everybody to come and they're not even making them Catholic. Anyway, don't expect anything to happen from the bishop, and surely don't expect anything to happen from Pope Francis, considering he tends to support the James Martin ideology anyway. So, as always, let me know what you think in the comments. This has been the Kennedy Report, and until next time... Oh, I forgot to say, you might be wondering, how does one grow such a beard? Well, check out the TKR store for beard products. I do use them myself, and uh, they're remarkable. They really are. We've sourced some of the best ingredients and made them from scratch. So, you can support one of your... Uh, you know, Catholic YouTubers that you hopefully enjoy watching and the money goes to our team here rather than going to some big chain that makes it or some weird hipster store down the road that has nice products, but, you know, has a love is love sticker on the door or something like that. Anyway, this has been the Kennedy Report. Until next time, God bless. Go to thekennedyreport.com and visit the TKR store to see our new products, Kennedy's Choice Beard Oil. You can use this on your beard to help with alleviating itchiness, dryness, and irritation of skin. And don't worry, no animals were used in testing this product except for myself. Use Kennedy's Choice Beard Balm for a softer, healthier, manageable beard that is made with natural ingredients. And trust me, I know a thing or two about beards. Visit thekennedyreport.com and check out the TKR store. The links for this